Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this video I'm going to be talking about using GitHub to better integrate playbooks for Ansible and Ansible Tower, specifically Ansible Tower here. And uh, quick review, what, uh, what the playbooks are for Ansible are those are the YAML files that tell your Ansible install, like your controller node, what to do to the managed nodes. So maybe you have a playbook for example, to update, like here, and this is these are the playbooks I'm talking about, and just to say update and uh, reboot after the update. So these are the types of items that I'm going to be talking about integrating into Ansible Tower itself. So GitHub, if you're not familiar, is uh, kind of a uh, a platform for online platform for Git. It's free to people. You, I mean, there are uh, enterprise licenses and and other licenses that you can pay for to get more features, but uh, it's really good, free to anybody, uh, even private repositories, meaning like not everybody can see it. Those are free too, I think maybe up to a certain limit, uh, but it's a great space to kind of store your code and your uh, other, in, you know, other things that you just want to want to keep uh, just, you know, not not on your own local computer, but to have it kind of persistent uh, in the cloud, as they say. So for this, uh, just a quick like review of, of version control, which is what GitHub is all about, is uh, it's basically allows multiple people or just one single person to collaborate on different types of code uh, and just make changes, review changes, merge changes, all about kind of changes like view changes from previously things like that so in this situation what we're going to be doing is I have this cyberscribe ansible github integration uh, and I'll put a I'll put a link in the notes below for this and it should be open for everybody to access but what we're going to do is we're going to basically hook in this repository with these two uh, YAML files these two playbooks I'm going to hook those into ansible tower itself so when Ansible Tower runs the playbooks, it's not going to check its local system. It's going to check this URL here. And then it's going to update them, the playbooks, uh, before it runs. There's multiple options. And, uh, and yeah, that's how, that's how it's gonna, we're going to do it here. It's a pretty good thing because once you, if you have more than one person working on Ansible playbooks, it can kind of become difficult to, if you're just working, say, you're SSHing into your Ansible server box, it's kind of difficult uh, if you think about it. Like if somebody makes a change, how do you track that change? How do you know what that person did? What if that person really just messed up and uh, you need to roll back? How do you do that if it's just, you know, if they're just making changes on in a text editor on that machine itself? Not the easiest thing to do. Uh, so here what you do is it's just all about, uh, you know, you commit your changes and you, uh, you know, you would push your changes to GitHub itself. And then what you would have is, I don't have any commits here, uh, but then you would just have these items here where you can go back and forth and see what people did. And then, you know, kind of in case of emergencies, you can go and, uh, roll back to what you had before you can see what people made what changes what specifically they did it's pretty good so uh, this isn't a video about uh, github or anything like that but just a quick uh, minute or two about what the reason why we're doing this basically so going back to ansible tower what we're going to do is i'm just going to walk through setting up one of these and uh, you can kind of follow along i'm also going to put the uh, like I said, the links and some notes, some of my step-by-step -step items uh, in the notes below, so you can go through that too. Uh, okay, so let's get to it then. So we talked about Git already and GitHub, which is what we're going to be pushing to. So that's the first thing that you're going to do. Uh, like I said, this is going to be available for everybody, but everybody's, uh, you know, everybody's install is different, and you're probably going to want to create your own, say, playbook repository and that's basically what these things are so i just have two security updates and uh it's just going to upgrade all packages that are just for security and you can look at the ansible notes for this too 
Um, there's security right there. And like I said in a previous video, Ansible documentation is pretty good. So that is my one playbook. And my other playbook is a bigger update. So it just updates everything. And it also reboots after 90 seconds, giving a message of, you know, server is going to reboot. Uh, because if you have, for example, like a, a kernel update, you're going to need to reboot to have that take effect. One other thing, uh, your host section is might be different. Remember, this is the uh, item in the inventory file that's uh, that your that you can group your hosts under. So, unless you have rel hosts, uh, you might have to. Well, you will have to change that unless you have rel hosts. So just be aware. I mean, this is for uh, you know for your just consumption, but it's not, you can't just copy and paste everything and just click a couple buttons. I mean, that's really not the point. Uh, so anyway, just be aware. Rel hosts is a group that I have in my inventory. You want to make it work the same way, put a rel hosts group in your inventory as well. And, uh, and that's that. So, uh, that's it for GitHub itself. So like I said, for mine, I have this as a public repository, and you're probably not going to want to do that because you can't have these vanilla configurations all the time. You're going to have to have your own things and specifically what you want to do. So if and when you did that, uh, it would be a private repository. And just a quick thing, I'll put a link in the bottom for this too, is you need to create a personal access token, and that's how you would access uh, your repository. So how would you do that in... GitHub, or uh, how did you, how would you do that in Ansible Tower itself? Well, basically what you would do is you'd go to the credentials section here, and then this is my deep dive sec GitHub pat personal access token under source control. So we can take a look at that. Uh, it doesn't show passwords or anything, but basically you would put something in here. And wh how Ansible Tower is, is it's, if think about like object orientation, where you kind of, all of these things are little bits and you plug each of them into each other. So you'll see this credential uh, when we go through the templates to create the, you know, the, the job to do to run the playbooks. I uh, will just uh, hook this in. I'm not going to now because it's public, but that's how it would work if it was a private repository. So like I said, I'll put a link about the personal access tokens at the bottom too. And uh, you can take a look at that and uh, just, just go from there. So getting into doing it uh, on the Ansible Tower side, first thing you'll need to do once you have those credentials set up and running is you'll need to create a project here. And I'm just going to do, do it live here and just say test project. Okay. And then SCM type. So this is where you're going to uh, hook it into GitHub. So SCM type is git. And let me get the URL. And SCM URL is right there. And the branch commit, if you look there, main, that de that's the default in GitHub in git. So main. And just be aware that GitHub is on top of Git. So Git, you can do by yourself. You don't need GitHub for that. Uh, so they're two separate things, but GitHub uses Git. Okay, but we don't need to uh, get too too deep into that. All right, so this is it. Oh, organization, it should populate. I just have the default in there. Um, so this should be it for doing this. Basically, your URL uh, and your branch name. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to go into templates. And we're going to just kind of mirror this rel update that I have. As you can see, I've been testing. Um, this is over a couple weeks though, so it's not like I was just constantly getting it wrong. Okay, job template. And the other thing is, as we go through this, some things I'm not going to just completely focus on how to do this, how to do this, because this is about just integrating GitHub. So, you know, other videos will come and uh, about how to do some of these other other items, basically. Uh, 
So just be aware that's kind of we're focusing on the GitHub integration for the playbooks here. All right, so uh, we'll just say test template again and inventory. This is going to be my test servers that I've set up before. Okay, and project is going to be test project. So that's kind of where we're hooking things in. So if you look, test project, right? That's where we, I can't, uh, okay, let me do this first. Choose a playbook. Now this should be integrated. This should be connecting right here. So I should see sec update and update right here. And I do, so that's good. So if you put another, uh, you know, if you put another, this is the whole point of the GitHub integration is if you put another playbook in here, it's going to show up. And then when you go through and you want to set up a schedule for uh, this type of playbook, you just do it this way. And it, and it should, like I said, add here. Okay, so that, keep in mind that's coming from GitHub. Then what you want to do is verbosity. Normal doesn't really show you much. It just basically shows you what Ansible is doing. So like Ansible is running a job, job starts, long time, job completes. Okay, well what happened in between? What if it's taking more time than you think? It doesn't really tell you. So uh, there's a lot of uh, verbosity options here. I just go with one. Uh, two is pretty good. Debug I think is, if you put that on, you'll just see just stuff endlessly scrolling. Uh, so it's, you know, but I mean, I think they're all worth testing out. I'm just going to go with verbose here, and uh, and that's it for that. It'll just give a little bit more information, but not be overwhelming. Credentials. So this is kind of another topic for Ansible Tower about how to set up different credentials uh, because you have to you know connect to your managed nodes. So there's different ways of doing it. I mean, one would be to set up kind of public key authentication uh, before this. And you can probably do it in here. I haven't looked uh, too much. But basically, I'm just kind of doing it the, the cheap way here of just using, uh, and not, not good or anything by any imagination, uh, but just, you know, just basic connection, like, you know, root. So not good. But that's not the point of this uh, video. And there's, credentials is a big topic in Ansible Tower. That's why, uh, that's why I'm kind of just glossing over it now because it's, it would, take some really diving into. Anyway, we're connected to it right there. Uh, choose a job type. We're going to run. So if you check, it's going to basically do a dry run of the playbook, but it's not going to do anything. It'll just tell you if it would have worked or not. So, um, okay. So, you know, like for example, if you have a module, an Ansible module that tells says to do something on a program that doesn't exist on that box that you're trying to run it on, you know, that, that check will tell you that like it, you know, doesn't exist, things like that, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to run it. And, uh, so here we're good to save and okay. And we should be good to launch. So there's a couple different places to launch it. I mean, really with Ansible, it's not about launching it ad hoc like this. Uh, you can, and that is uh, useful, but I think, you know, more, it's m more based on schedules here. So basically what you can do is you can create a schedule, think of this like cron, and, uh, you know, you can run it whenever you want, start times, things like that. So this is what you'd probably want to take a look at as well. I'm not going to do that here, but just be aware that that's available. So right now, this was our test template, and now we're, as as you can see, uh, what you have a lot is with Ansible Tower, you have like your detail on the top, and on the bottom, you have your uh, kind of just summary, I guess. So that's basically what you're seeing here. So let's just uh, run this and see what happens. And we have some verbosity, so we can uh, we can see if that's going to work. So I already saved it and I can launch it here or I can just launch it test template right here. So we're just going to start. Let me just double check. Creden okay. Credentials, inventory, job tags. This is good. You know, you can put, well, 
there's a place where you can put tags and then you can assign the tags here. So that's, uh, that's good as well. All right, so we're just going to run a test template and we'll just see what happens. Okay, so what we have, update and reboot, upgrade all packages here. And see, these are these little items that you're going to get that you wouldn't get if you didn't have the verbosity turned up. So that's kind of nice. And one thing here, rebooting the servers. So basically what that would be, uh, I think it already probably scrolled off for the, uh, for the other ones, is these are my two servers that I'm managing here, Servo 1, Servo 2. And basically what you'll see with the reboot is just wait for it and then you'll have your message coming up. So I put that in the playbook for these things. So, I mean, it's it's good to really, like, when you're starting out, to have something where it kind of you can see that it's working, especially like this update. I did this earlier, and it took like 13 minutes. And I was thinking, well, this is dead. But it wasn't dead. It just took a while. Uh, it was perfectly fine. So, uh, you know, just, I mean, it, that'll be experience. And uh, the more you do these things, the more you'll get a, a an idea of how your environment is kind of set up to work. So... Uh, right there, attention server will be rebooted in 90 seconds. Where did that come from? Well, that came from the playbook right there. And again, the playbook was pulled from GitHub. And uh, and that's it. I mean, it's rebooting the servers. I don't think we need to wait for that. But basically, what I wanted to do here was to uh, was to show you how to, number one, integrate into version control with GitHub, which we have that and uh, you know set up a playbook which is basically a template here and then as a job template and then just run it and show you that it was working and again like I said this is all from uh, the playbooks here are all from github and those were from the projects which integrates into github itself and that specific repository there so with that, you know, kind of a backwards review of what we did. But again, I have notes and I'll put notes at the bottom of the video. And uh, that's all I had for this one. So like I said, I'll be other Ansible Tower topics. I'll be kind of uh, digging into a little more, maybe providing some better ways to do things like credentials and, uh, and inventories and some other things. So uh, as I go through that stuff, I'll be creating more videos and, uh, you know, just stay tuned for those. And that's all I had today, so I will see you later.